In 1987, the State Wine Commission was created to promote Washington wines. In 1994, fruit growers helped pass NAFTA, opening new markets for Washington produce. Five years later, the Forests and Fish Agreement was signed, regulating timber operations on more than 9 million acres of private forest land. In 2001, environmentalists and farmers formed Farming and the Environment to promote sustainable farming. In 2006, a statewide habitat conservation plan was signed, based on the Forests and Fish Agreement. These achievements have two things in common. They all benefit the state of Washington, and they were all shaped by graduates of the Ag Forestry Leadership Program. The Ag Forestry Leadership Program began in 1977. It was the vision of dedicated leaders from the state of Washington and the private sector who wanted to start a leadership program to serve the natural resources sectors. These leaders believed that public policy and stable communities were best created through shared understanding and collaboration. They wanted to provide people in natural resources with the tools, skills, and knowledge to help shape public policy. Congressman Sid Morrison was there at the beginning. The joy has been to watch it through the years, to participate, and uh, most importantly, to watch what happens to individuals as they have gone through the program, what they've gone through, what they've done, how they've celebrated the connections that came from ag forestry leadership. Each year, up to 30 people from agriculture, fishing, timber, and natural resource agencies begin 58 days of intense education and training over an 18-month period. They learn how to be better public speakers, how to work together, and how to navigate the political process. But they also go outside their comfort zone with trips overseas to learn about the global marketplace and to see firsthand how other people live. And here at home, they visit prisons and soup kitchens to understand the role government plays in our society. After 18 months, they graduate with an understanding of the political, social, and economic forces that shape our state, and they gain connections that last a lifetime. Vicki Christensen was in class 12. It gives you those connections, those, those contacts, and people that you know you can call up, even if you know they're not on the same page with you on an issue, but you can discuss it with them, you can get different viewpoints. Graduates of the Ag Forestry Leadership Program have been putting their skills to work for Washington for almost 30 years. Members of the first seven classes helped craft and implement the 1987 Timber, Fish and Wildlife Agreement, a collaboration of foresters, environmentalists, regulators and tribes. It was the model for similar agreements over the next two decades. Class seven helped create the Washington Wine Commission. Since then, wineries have increased 500 percent, and the industry contributes three billion dollars a year to the state's economy. Class 11 developed a boot camp alternative to prison for some nonviolent offenders. Class 19 designed a habitat conservation plan for small landowners that has become a model across the state. Class 22 helped start ag tourism in the state and Class 27 designed a public-private partnership to protect water quality on Hood Canal. This is one of the things, uh, one of the few things that the Department of Agriculture really has an opportunity uh, to put resources in, and since this is so valuable to us, uh, the Ag Forestry Program is a place where we put our resources because we believe in the value of the program. As a United States Senator, I was able to judge the effectiveness and the ability of hundreds of different groups Washington's ag forestry graduates were among the very best and the very most persuasive. Senator Parlad. Mr. President, please move the adoption of the amendment. State Senator Linda Evans Parlad from Class 2 has become a leading advocate on health care and natural resource issues. She worked on the recent Columbia River Use Agreement and safeguarded farmers' interests when the legislature changed unemployment insurance laws. Senator Parlett says her experience in ag forestry taught her the value of listening. When you are bombarded with so many different issues as you are as a state senator, it's really helpful to try to listen to all sides and then see if you can bring people together or cut to the chase and offer a solution. And that's part of leadership for sure. One of the key outcomes of the 
Ag Forestry Program for me was an appreciation that solving other people's problems may be the best route to solve our problems. And that manifests itself every day in the state capitol, whether you're working with political leaders or regulators, that oftentimes they're trying to get to a different issue or get to a different solution to solve a different problem, and you can be part of that. And then that helps you solve your own problems. I knew this was going to be a good fit when the very first day, the very first seminar, I picked up an insight into leadership that I just hadn't had before. That leadership is defined by the character and the quality of the relationships. It can't exist in a vacuum. It was just a great insight. Since 1977, the Ag Forestry Leadership Program has helped nearly 800 people across the state become leaders in their communities and their industries. Along the way, the program has redefined the concept of leadership. Leadership is truly those people that we don't see every day, but who are interconnecting from town to town and from county to county. And these are the leaders who are really setting the standards of ethics, the standards of behavior, the standards of business practices, which make a difference in our lives. So that it's not people like me or the mayor or the governor who are the true leaders, that often the true leaders are the people who are working every day. The next decision about the future of Washington State will be made tomorrow. With your support, graduates of Ag Forestry's leadership program will be there.